Uh, okay, so we're winging it today. Uh, I will. Kick it off for uh, topics that folks have that they intended to raise today, but may not be on a written down agenda quite yet. Uh, and I will, while that is happening, look for a couple of PRs I know uh, went out for added conformance tests in the last since our last meeting. Anybody have topics to raise? Silence. All right. Seems like this might be a quick one. Uh, one, I know off the top of my head, there was a watch conformance test added uh, in API machinery. Uh, that one is uh, particularly interesting. Uh, and I will uh, send a note if I can't pull it up quickly uh, here. But that is essentially to ensure that the uh, watch asynchronous watch works in uh in the conformance test suite uh and are there others that went in in the last couple few weeks that folks are aware of mostly i just want to make sure there are no surprises uh so i want to over communicate on what is added to the conformance test suite there are mechanisms for you to self-discover that but this is just another uh mechanism for doing that Uh, in other lands, before our next meeting, I believe we will have a feature complete for 1.12. Uh, and our agreement at the conference working group meeting in Copenhagen was that we would make an effort to have a better plan for what uh, conformance tests were intended to be added in 1.12 by the feature gate. Uh, which is an existing gate we can add to rather than creating a new process timeline. Uh, so I would encourage folks, if you intend to work on conformance tests, uh, to collaborate uh, on that effort. And Aish or Mitra will send out uh, some more communication on that in the next few weeks, I think. Uh, I think the only PSA I have is that um... We typically lag release cycle for doing Sonobuoy updates, just because um, that's what happens. So we might have a, a, a release around July-ish timeframe. Uh, there was also a separate request for me to do an update for the instructions. So I might do a PR against the CNCF conformance repo uh, around that time to update instructions. Thanks. Got a few slides for updates from Aish as well, and had some uh, wanted to get some thoughts on some of the API snoop direction that we're taking. Okay. I was looking at the um, conformance working group area uh, in the notes. Are we making a new section or the meeting minutes? Feel free to make a new section and add that. All right, I'll do that real quick. Uh, this is June 15th. Uh, updates from Aish and API Snoop updates. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try to share my screen real quick. Copy of API Snoop slides. And are you able to see my, my slides? Not yet. I think so, unless it's just a black slide with no text on it. No, that's uh, not the one. Um, I've been having some issues with my, my screen sharing. Let me try. Uh, if you're on this laptop. Let's see. Let 
try again. Share screen. Sometimes if I reshare, it'll show up. Um, I'll drop the link into the channel and maybe someone else can try to move the slides. I'll drop this in for everyone. And then I'll um, just progress through it, if that's all right. Sounds great. All right. Um, Aish is actually updating this live, so <laughs> thanks for that. She's at a, um, a conference. Uh, internal to Google, and then um, so they get lots of uh, watch tests that were added. Um, there's a PR for that. It's on slide two. Um, there's also um, some ADE aggregator tests where they're waiting for some review there, but they're in scope for 112. And um, there's a conformance guidance PR. Um, it's almost ready, and the link is there uh, on that slide. Um, on slide uh, slide three. Um, there was two main groups that I think she was working with, API Machinery and, and um, the Node um, within API Machinery. This is the list of the EDE tests that they were able to promote. They've also got a tracker sheet for that. Um, uh, she's gonna be working with the vendors in particular to make sure the flakiness improves and they're not skipping uh, the particular providers. Um, and they're about to do some uh, uh, promote these cases via PRs for API machinery SIG before looping in with um, SIG architecture. Um, Aisha's actually editing the slide, so hopefully it's uh, getting there. Um, yeah, the link is restricted, so. Uh, sorry, that's not useful. It's okay, I'm just giving you that feedback so you might give more uh, context than you would otherwise if you think people are following along. Sure, sure, I appreciate that. Um, anyone, I'll go ahead and update it so it's public. All right, I've re-updated that. Um, there's some improvements for the pod APIs. That's I've been a focus both for uh, API Snoop and for Aish. Um, SIG node, uh, partic uh, they've identified a list of APIs um, inside client Kubernetes Go to focus on for 112. Um, there's a, a link there to that particular issue. This is on slide four. Um, uh, she's been working with us to uh, correlate the EDE test to the API calls that they make. Um, it's helping, particularly in SIG node, um, to be able to see which endpoints are already covered, but um, the tests aren't promoted. Uh, we're looking to try to provide a matrix for each of the endpoints to all of the tests. Um, we have an initial dump right now um, inside EDE Correlate. Um, see if I can drop that into the uh, the chat real quick. So there are the initial outputs. Um, if you run, if you look at that file, it's sorted by the API calls per EDE test so that you can see for each EDE test, here's the list of all of the endpoints that it hits and the uh, sorted by the um, number of times they hit it. Um, where uh, Aish is also working closely with the Globant vendors um, to understand what they're doing, uh, particularly at how the different API and verb combinations are being exercised. Um, and moving a bit into the pod API spec, that's a little bit different than just the EDE test. And so we're um, digging in a bit further to see how we can um, include that in API Snoop as well um, to see which of those are worth promoting. Um, I'm still a bit unsure how we look at um, EDE test and conformances with regards to pod API spec. Um, but the, the initial findings are, are in a link here and I'll drop that in the channel. I think this is, may have to request permission um, for that one. And for next steps, they're gonna do an API analysis for the API verb combination and take the results to SIGNode. Um, we'll be doing something similar within API Snoop. Um, 
going beyond just the simple dump of the correlate we have and hopefully getting something uh, on the web that looks nice. Um, within API Snoop, we've got a couple of open tickets and that might be of interest. I'm gonna drop the our issues link uh, in here. Um, one of the things we're looking into right now is trying to um, augment client go so that every time any application uses client go to connect that we could somehow correlate that call to an entry in the audit log which provides some really interesting data to analyze for all applications instead of our we are currently working to do it within um, uh, just within the EDE test space um, and that's that's been some interesting interesting things. Um, we also updated the API Snoop. So if you look at API Snoop .cncf .io, um, it's it's working, but it's kind of a mock-up of where we think things should go in the future. I'll drop that link as well. Um, it's a if you look at the um, the web portion, the, the data portion is not there yet. This is where we're talking about having the actual data for each API call in a bit more in depth. And possibly within the ring, when you see a particular API call, being able to click on it and seeing all the EDE tests that hit that particular API call. And possibly all the applications at some point, including all of the data that flows through it so we can get a better visualization for um, yeah, how, how we're using our API. Um, there's also been some work on the capture to make that easier. Um, I think that's another ticket where we were looking at um, using advanced audit webhooks. No, that's not it. Uh, yes, using admission webhooks as an alternative to audit logs. Um, yes, audit logs are where we will go and be long term. And there is that cap. Um, if you haven't seen it, to add support for audit logs to be added dynamically. But right now, this might be useful um, to get us uh, a, a good way there as far as the, the call itself. We won't get the results. We won't get some of the other data that's there. But I'd love some, some feedback on all of these different components um, as everybody has. Uh, yeah, it would just be really be valuable. I think that's it. Thanks for that, uh, both for being the proxy for the update from Aish on that stuff and for sure. that API Snoop. I have followed a few at uh, just haphazardly as I look at activity in the Kubernetes repository. The, the feedback that you're giving on audit logging is actually driving that feature in a more useful direction. So that's a lot of appreciation should uh, is due there. Thank you. No stress. Thank you for that feedback. Uh, others have questions or comments on update. Was just in time slides passed off to someone else to present. That was uh, takes a village. <laughs> you realize that's what we're doing. <laughs> that, was, that was a fully community effort right there. Uh, okay, anyone else have any PSAs or updates or questions or uh, comments? Otherwise, rather than continuing an open discussion, I would suggest we uh, call it and come back together with a, with a better agenda the next time around. All in favor say aye. Aye, aye. Thanks, Chaco. All opposed say nay. And the ayes <laughs> have it. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye. Take care. Cheers. Thanks.